Hey everyone, I'm Akira and in today's video we will take a look at how to obtain two of the new Otak mounts coming in Dragonflight, the Iskara Traders Otak, a dark grey version, and the Ivory Traders Otak, an ivory and grey version. Both of these mounts can be bought from a vendor in Iskara in the Azure span right here. However, there's a small catch, they need specific items to be bought. You can actually buy them with gear, that's right, gear from Dungeons and Raids. The Ivory Traders Attack can be bought for three items. The Thunderous Downburst Ring, the Unstable Arcane Loop, and Platinum Star Band. All of these items have two things in common. They're all rings and they all drop from dungeon bosses. The Thunderous Downburst Ring drops from the second boss in the dungeon Nokut Offense, the Raging Tempest. The drop chance is unknown to me, but there's nothing that seems to suggest that it doesn't share the same drop chance as any other gear in the dungeon. The second ring, the Unstable Arcane Loop, drops from the first boss in the dungeon, the Azure Vault, Laymore. And the third ring, Platinum Star Band, drops from the first boss in the dungeon, Elgith uh, Academy, called Vexmus. Once you've acquired all three rings, you can simply purchase the Ivory Traders Otak straight from Tatukiaka and Iskara. The item level of the rings doesn't matter at all, so you can farm the rings in both normal, heroic and mythic. You can even farm them as you level through the Dragon Isles. I tested it using a 251 ring that I got when leveling. And it also does not matter whether they have a socket or anything. So any version of any of the three rings matter. It doesn't matter if you have like one heroic, one mythic and one normal. That's fine. The items needed to purchase the other otter is two epic necks. And they both drop from the new raid, Vault of the Incarnates. The first neck is Teros Captive Core, and it drops from Teros, who is, according to the journal, the second boss of the raid. The second neck, Eye of the Vengeful Hurricane, drops from Dathea Ascended, who is, according to the journal, the fifth boss in the raid. I'm assuming the difficulty and eye level doesn't matter for these items. However, I haven't had access to the raid, and I haven't tested it, so I cannot be sure. But I kind of assume it works the same way as with the Ivory Traders also, right? So this is kind of a whole new way to make dungeon and raid mount drops for you, which I think is way less RNG dependent. Obviously, there's still some RNG element to it, but compared to a 1% drop chance, you can easily get the dungeon attack in less than a day, just spamming normals until the item drops. And the raid one will probably take some weeks, but still be rather easy grindable. The only effect is that you'll have group loop back in raids and everyone will be needing on the next whenever they drop as soon as they know that you can get a mount from it. So you'll have to roll against pretty much everyone in the group. But hey, just make sure people haven't watched this video before doing the raid so they have no idea that they actually need the next and you'll be good. Just kidding. Please share the video. Anyway, I think it's an interesting new way to distribute dungeon and raid mounts that are not too RNGs and I kind of like it. But let me know what you think about this way of obtaining mounts. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for subscribing my video. Please consider leaving a watch, like or dislike. And if you wish to support my channel even more, you can get me a coffee via the link in the description. And as always, have a wonderful day. Bye.